Hey everybody, Case here. Welcome back to The Simpsons Tapped Out. By now, most of you should know that there is a yearbook mystery box currently in the game. Again, I still don't know if it's permanent or not, but it does say new or recommended. It does not have a timer, which means I'm going to buy another premium character. The first character that I bought was Arnie Pie. And in this one, well, already on it, I'm going to go for Dr. Nick. So I've got again, because there's one in five, a 20% chance of getting Dr. Nick. Now, Dr. Nick originally was a level character. I'm going to say level maybe 23, 24 in that range. And they cost 90 donuts. So it might take me three tries, and then the end, I guess I'm kind of breaking even. But let's see what we get. Park Engineer. I don't know if they're a character or not. I think they're just an NPC. Hey, you! Does anyone know who that is? No flash photography, please. Collect them all, missing a couple. You know what? They're a brand new character. Well, I guess we'll be doing the uh, Park Engineer in this video. Just as concerned about violence as you are. It's also got a voice. A lot of theme parks use fancy $100 computers to design the rides. We prefer to do it the old fashioned way with paper and pencil, hunches and guesswork. Take our new ride, the Decapitator. One we could go with just a sketch on the back of a very beer soaked bar napkin. And now it is ready for human trials. Will it work? I think there's a funny chance it will. Oh no. Park Engineer run human trials. Springfielders beat guinea pigs. That is hilarious. Uh, no flash photography, please. Hey, look over there. Ma'am, how would you like to be the first to ride the decapitator? Is it as dangerous as the name implies? Condescending chuckle. You didn't actually answer the question. Didn't I? condescending chuckle. Well, your smugness does give me confidence. Not sure I would do that, Marge. Just as concerned about violence as you are. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate to decapitator? Zero. If I hadn't ducked, the saw blade would have sliced my head clean off. That's not funny. Why am I laughing? But on a scale of 1 to 10, did they? Well, no. I give you a 10 for that, I suppose. Condescending chuckle. Park engineer fake a ride safety report. That's even worse. Hey, look over there. Yoink. You see, ma'am? There was never anything to worry about. The D from the decapitator sign fell into the seat next to me. I could have been killed. We can all be killed at any time. Maybe I have a tropical brain virus that is ravaging my necrothorax as we speak. Who knows? Neocortex. He could. Just as concerned about violence as you are. It reminds me of the episode of The Simpsons when Homer's like, Well, you could wake up dead tomorrow. You've got a lot of robots in this park. What's to stop them from killing their human masters? I've seen it before, you know. Patronizing guffaw. Impossible. One of them is chewing on your leg right now, and the other one is cheering him on. Will you excuse me a moment? Fix smell functioning robot. I thought maybe he was a robot the entire time. Just as concerned about violence as you are. Okay, and this is going to be the first animation. I know when the episode takes off the robot's face and they scream They're like, "Hey!" Ah! But he didn't do it, I don't think. And now he's hiding because he doesn't want to fix it. Please move. Thank you. <laughs> Is that really fixing? Using a screwdriver? When I think of fixing, I think of actually like going into it and like doing all this like electrical stuff. That just 
putting on a screw so his jaw doesn't fall off. But maybe he can make it like The Walking Dead. You know, when Michonne takes off half of the zombie's bottom, like, jaw or whatever. Hey, look over there. 10 do not kill humans. 20 especially me. 30 go to 10. There, fixed. Not really sure what you're talking about, man. Just as concerned about violence as you are. Mrs. Simpson, we've heard you, and we're making safety improvements to the decapitator. That's wonderful news. First, we're changing the name to Mr. Itchy's Lullaby Train. Second, we're installing netting to catch any heads that may fall. And that's it. I'm no engineer, but speaking as a layperson, are you insane? Only one way to find out. I think that ship can of sail with the netting and the heads. Park Engineer run human trials. I mean, Marge already was doing that. Springfield lose be guinea pigs. Oh no. Uh, no flash photography, please. Hey, look over there. The netting works. All decapitated heads are safe. Pretty gruesome. Not sure I'm really digging it, man. If you don't mind me asking, how did you become a theme park ride designer? Oh, the usual way. As a young child, I yearned to find out what animals looked like on the inside. It began with insects and frogs, but I soon graduated to larger prey. Naturally, I was ashamed of my bedwetting, but who can say if that's why I began lighting fires? I'm gonna go find a policeman. Good idea, Marge. And I'll flee into the Canadian wilderness. Oh, that's great. Maybe we can have a beer or something together, man. You seem cool. Park engineer conveniently escape a conversation. Uh, no flash photography, please. He's gonna do that yoink thing where he runs away. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what happens. Oh, we got we got scratchy. And we got a plant! Itchy scratchy plant, back to scratchy. And itchy. And back to itchy. So it looks like there's at least three of them anyway, but it's completely random which ones will pop up. Unless they surprise me with another one. Come on, man. Now, well, looks like we're back to itchy. Chief Wiggum, I think the head engineer is a serial killer. Well, I'm sure he's gotten it out of his system. That's how these things work. The killing stuff isn't ideal, but a lot of these guys find peace in the end, so there's that. So he got away with it the whole time. He flew to the Canadian wilderness. We still haven't had that beer, by the way, but we will. Once again, I'm sure he's a pretty okay guy. But well, that is the park engineer that is not exactly the character I was hoping for, but I did not know they were voiced, so that was a fantastic surprise, and I quite loved that episode a lot. So in the end, you know what, it's not Dr. Nick, but I'll take it. So like I said in the beginning, if this mystery box is permanent, I mean, expect a lot of characters over the coming days and weeks and months. Also as well, by the way, if there's a certain character you really want me to get next, leave a comment down below, and I will definitely consider it. And I will see you with more premium character walkthroughs in the future. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.